Basil's enjoying his millet. I'll tell you, this bird is pretty spoiled. Right, Basil? Right, Basil, baby? He's quite spoiled. Hi, Basil. Hi. And look at his cage. Let's see. I got the rather oversized cage for this conure. He's a green cheek, and I'll tell you one thing he really loves is this little heater. You can see that uh, it's about the size of a pack of cards, that gray thing. Uh, hubby rigged that up yesterday, and that bird loves the heater. I think he, the bird is so spoiled that I just don't know what to make of all this. Right, Boris? Right, Boris? Right now he's eating millet, which I understand is the the best treat you can possibly give a conure and he is um, going to town with it. Now, now I only reserve it for when I really want him to do something. Uh, and I've got him stepping up. What I usually do is I use this little toy. Uh, can you see it? Ah, uh, there it is. And he perches, he, he, I find that he perches easily on that. Or I give him a stick. Sometimes he'll step up, up onto my hand. But he's got a mind of his own so far. But he's a really sweet and a really quite quiet bird. And I think he likes certain music, like Sunny Side of the Street he likes. He likes jazz guitar. He seems to. He likes Eric Clapton blues. Um, he's quite adaptable. He's very picky. I try to feed him different foods like egg and yogurt. And he just likes his seeds. He comes out of the cage. He likes my husband. In general, he's just a cutie. Right, little guy? Right, sweetie? Here, let me just try to give him a little... Hi, baby. Hi, hi. Hi, are you having fun? I can't really do this and hold the camera at the same time. But he's quite content. He's quite content. He can't say good morning yet, but I've been... I've really been trying. I've been really trying to get him to say good morning. But he's not doing it yet. Maybe he never will, but it doesn't matter. Right, baby? Yeah, right, baby. Right, baby, Basil. Such a good baby. Such a good boy. He does love to be petted. He's getting a little more independent that way, but he, he loves to be petted. And honestly, none of these toys he's keen on. This one is handmade by me. This one with a black skillet. Not interested. The Snuggle Hut, he's gone in and out of a couple times. One time he got a little snagged and it scared me, so I'm only putting it on the perch. My husband made the perch, and you can see it's a full length thing with uh, a base. We were going to use a lamp, an old lamp for the base, but he had this engineering thing, so that's what's used for the base. But the bird loves the perch. He was so happy the first time he was on it. He was like shaking around and doing the heart-shaped wing thing. Now I have to figure out what his sex is and I guess I'll get him DNA tested because I think that would be a good thing to know. Don't you think, Basil? He is such a sweetheart. Bye -bye.